We found some awesome small campers with bathrooms. Stick around folks, you're going to want to check these out. Hey guys, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera and today we're going to be taking a look at small campers with bathrooms. Hey, if you've seen us before on YouTube, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing us on YouTube, welcome aboard. We invite you to subscribe and leave us a thumbs up if you like the video. And we also have our website called rvblogger.com where we have hundreds of helpful articles where you can learn all about RVing as well. And if that's not enough, we also invite you to subscribe to our free monthly digital magazine called RV Camping Magazine. It's completely free. We have tons of great articles in there and I'll drop a link in the notes down below if you'd like to subscribe. But without any further ado, let's get started with our reviews of small campers with bathrooms. This small travel trailer is the KZ Sportsman Classic model number 130RB. The unloaded vehicle weight on this is just 2,190 pounds. It's got a cargo carrying capacity of 610 pounds. So the gross vehicle weight rating on it is a nice light 2,800 pounds. And the length on it is only 16 feet, three inches long. So when you first walk into this travel trailer, you walk in at the very back of the travel trailer and you walk in with some cabinetry in the bathroom back here. And then to my right is where all of the living space is. So you'll notice that the kitchen is all here. Up top, we have a small microwave oven, just the right size for a small camper. And then next to that, you've got a nice big cabinet with plenty of storage space up top. And then right next to that, you've got a wall mounted air conditioner here that is great for a small camper easy to replace if anything ever goes wrong with it the counter area is very set up very very well it's got a two burner stove set front to back to help gain a little bit of countertop space a nice deep single bowl sink which is really nice this is deeper than a lot of them that i've seen in smaller campers and then you have all this countertop space here which is really really great one other feature that you'll notice is underneath here you've got your cable tv and a receptacle but I don't see that there's a place where you can mount a TV on the wall. You might be able to mount an arm here with your TV on it, or you could set your TV right on the countertop. Not really sure exactly how you would set that up. Down below, you've got a refrigerator here. The one thing I don't really like about this fridge is that it does not have a separate area for your ice trays, but other than that, it's a decent sized fridge. And then you have additional storage area underneath the sink and the stovetop. Now, as we move towards the front of this travel trailer, this is where the dinette is. Four people could very, very easily sit at this dinette. And this dinette, by the way, is on its own legs. So you can use it both inside your trailer and outside your trailer. And you can also fold the legs up and under, drop it down, and then this becomes your bed. And the size of this bed is a pretty good size. It's about, cushion size anyways, about, 52 inches wide is about 82 inches long. So about a um, full size bed space in here and my tape measure got stuck. So I'll just leave it there for now. <laughs> I have a feeling that'll end up in a blooper reel somewhere. Anyway, we have additional storage space over top of the dinette and bed area. And you'll also notice under here that there is a receptacle in one corner USB ports in the other so you can you know watch movies at night charge your phone whatever you'd like to do there and then there's more storage space over top on the side of this trailer and then below that storage space is a nice big comfy sofa so you can be sitting here and watch TV you can have your dinette set up or your bed set up but it's just a nice feature to have some additional seating room inside your trailer. One thing I didn't mention about the sofa is there is a little bit of storage underneath. You can lift up the cushions, pull up a piece of plywood, and you've got, you know, maybe two feet of storage underneath of the bench. Now, in the very, very back of this camper, you have your bathroom and some cabinet space. So good amount of storage up top here in the top cabinet. The middle cabinet is actually meant to be able to hang things. It's got a rail up top that you can hang your hangers in. So you can hang jackets and things like that. And then you have another cabinet down below. So here I am in the bathroom in the very back of this camper and the 
shower in here is pretty big. It's actually about two feet wide and about three and a half feet long. So a decent amount of room inside the shower. And height wise in here, you have about six feet even. The regular height throughout the camper is six feet, six inches. So, you know, a decent amount of room for you taller guys. You might have to squish, squish down a little bit inside the shower, but you do get a lot of room. And then also in the bathroom, the commode is placed in a good spot, so you've got elbow room on both sides, um, which is really, really terrific. There's no vanity in here, but you really don't need one in a smaller camp. This travel trailer is by Travelite RV. It's the Rove Light model number 14FL. The uh, unloaded vehicle weight on this trailer is only 1,707 pounds. It's got a cargo carrying capacity of 790 pounds and a gross vehicle weight rating of just 2,500 pounds. So it's very, very light, easy to tow behind a wide variety of vehicles. It's only 16 feet, six inches long. So again, it makes it super easy to tow behind you and it sleeps up to three people. Now, when you first walk into this travel trailer, pretty much everything's right in front of you. We only have 16 feet to work with. So everything's here. And you'll notice on the right-hand side here, they sort of have a, well, a sofa, which is really nice and big, nice big cushions, very comfortable. And it's kind of a Murphy bed, kind of a gaucho bed. It kind of does a little bit of both. And I really like it. It's a neat little setup. So what happens is there's a D ring, there went the door, on each side. And you just pop these up and then you pull forward and everything just sort of pops down and right into place and you get a nice size bed up front. So I like the fact that it's multifunctional up here. You can use it as a sofa or a bed. The size of it is about uh, 50 inches across and then the length of it is 74 inches. So not quite a, not quite a full size bed, but a decent enough space for two people to sleep here. Now you'll also notice there's a window on each side here so you can get some cross breeze. You've got some overhead lighting as well. And then um, next to the countertop here, there's a receptacle and USB ports. So you can put your phone up here at night, charge them up, whatever you need to do. All right, right next to the sofa bed combination, you'll notice that you have your kitchen area here. And this is really not a bad size kitchen for a small travel trailer. Up top here, you have some open storage area with some cargo netting to hold things in place. There is a receptacle up top here, and this is what uh, where the air conditioner plugs into, and it has a wall mount air conditioner built in here. Um, not a bad feature, because if anything ever happens to this, it's very easy to replace, and it's not very expensive either. Down below here, we have a single bowl sink. Everything's turned sideways to help save space. That's a really unique design. I haven't seen one quite like this before. And then you have a little two burner stove. Nice setup there. And then you have lots and lots of countertop space here over top of your refrigerator. Now the fridge located down below, just a basic small fridge and it has a separate compartment up top for ice trays, but you know, decent amount of room for a small refrigerator. And then there's additional storage space underneath of the stove top. And also even below that, you've got cargo netting to hold that storage in place. And then you have more storage underneath of your sink, but not a whole lot, just a little bit here in front of the protective panel. And then you have a little bit of a kitchen pantry here, which is actually a cabinet and a half, but it's a good amount of space for storing food items, maybe some clothes items, things like that. Now, right across from the kitchen area is where the dinette is. Now, in this particular setup, we're showing it with the dinette table down, just to give you an idea of how big the bed would be. Um, so one person could sleep here very, very easily, and two people could fit at the dinette, not three. So you could sleep three in here, but only two people would be able to sit here and eat. Up top, you've got more storage space with the cargo netting to hold things in place. And then behind the dinette here, there is a receptacle. There's also a cable TV outlet and then your thermostat and some other controls are back here as well. So I think you'd have to sort of mount your TV back here behind the dinette. Probably not 
the most convenient place to put a TV, but if you're sitting at the dinette or somebody sleeping here, they would be able to easily watch the TV. And I think you'd be able to see it okay if you were sitting on the couch at the front of the travel trailer. One other thing worth noting in here as well is that there is no microwave oven in the kitchen area. Uh, so if you like to have a microwave when you're out camping, you could easily bring along a countertop microwave, set it here, plug it in on the side of the countertop, um, but it doesn't have a microwave or an oven either, um, which for some folks is no problem. I know we, we hardly ever use ours. We cook outside all the time anyway. For other folks, just want you to know. So here I am inside the shower uh, towards the front of the travel trailer here, and it's a little bit cramped. You know, you taller folks are going to have a tough time in this small travel trailer. This is a wet bath, so the way this is set up is the toilet is inside the shower area, and so after you take a shower and you just want to use the bathroom during the day, you'll have to kind of dry everything out so that you don't step in here and everything's soaking wet. It's one of the disadvantages of a wet bath. The advantage to a wet bath is it doesn't take up much space at all. It, it gives you much more room throughout the trailer for other things to fit. Now the ceiling height inside the shower and the shower floor is a little higher than the regular floor in the in this trailer as most is only five feet seven inches so i can't even really fully stand up in here i have to crouch down i'm five feet eleven so you know it just doesn't work and outside of the shower in the normal trailer area your height is exactly six feet in here so for you taller folks you know, this will be a little bit of a, a crouch down inside of here, and especially inside the shower. Now, when you're sitting on the commode in here, you know, elbow test, not much room on my left side, but my right side, there's plenty of room. So, you know, I'd give it a half a half thumbs up. This travel trailer is from Keystone RV, and it's the Springdale Mini, model number 1760BH. The unloaded vehicle weight is 3,757 pounds, the cargo carry capacity is 743 pounds, so the total gross, we gross vehicle weight rating is 4,500 pounds, and it measures in at 21 feet 5 inches long. When you first walk into this camper, you walk right into everything. You've got your sleeping area, your dinette, and your kitchen all right in front of you. On the right side of me here, we have what appears to be a full-size bed. I don't think it's quite a queen. Yep, 54 inches, and the length of it is 76, so it's a short, full-size bed. You'll also notice you have this shelf above for storage, a couple lights up on the ceiling, and then you have a wardrobe cabinet on the right-hand side. There's also a little nightstand next to the bed and there are receptacles and USB ports up there as well and this mattress also picks up and there's a little bit of storage area underneath. The kitchen in this camper is an inline kitchen. Everything's right in line and easy to get to. Up top you have a microwave oven and then there's a big old storage cabinet up here. Then you have a single bowl sink, which is not very big. I think it would be hard to wash dishes in there. I know I would have water all over the place and Susan would be yelling at me. And then you have a two burner stove. Below that, you've got a couple of drawers and more storage space underneath your kitchen sink. And then you've got, I would consider this an average size refrigerator and separate freezer for a small camper, but I like the fact that it's got the separate freezer. The dinette in this camper is in a nice little slide out, so it adds extra floor space in here, so it feels really pretty big in here, even though it's a small camper. This dinette could easily seat four people, and as you can see, the table drops down to create another bed for one more person. It's got a nice big window above, and down below, it's got three drawers for additional storage. Towards the back of this camper, we also have a couple of bunk beds. Each bunk bed has a light overhead, I don't see any receptacles or charging ports though, so you better show up fully charged. Here I am standing in the shower in the very back of this camper, and it's a decent sized bathroom for a small camper. It's got a good sized shower. The headroom in here is right about six feet because my hair is touching the ceiling. And then across from me here, you have a medicine cabinet, which is actually pretty big. A nice little vanity cabinet with storage underneath. 
and then of course your commode. This travel trailer is the Palomino Puma Ultralight, model number 16BHX. It's got an unloaded vehicle weight of just 3,144 pounds, cargo carry capacity of 726 pounds, and that gives us a gross vehicle weight rating of just 3,870 pounds. It sleeps five, and it measures in at 21 feet six inches. Now, when you first walk into this camper, it's a small travel trailer, so you walk right into everything. You've got your kitchen on the left, and you've got your nice queen size bed on the right hand side. Now this bed also has receptacles and USB ports right here next to the bed. It's got a big front window, which is really nice. And then it has additional storage overhead as well as another, as a nice light up here to light up your bed in case you want to read at night. Now also underneath the bed, it does lift up and you've got a ton of storage under here which is a really nice feature. And you'll also notice that up front, it's got a little bit of a mini headboard and there's also a little bit of storage down underneath there too. You could fit like cell phones or a book or your reading glasses, things like that. Now this bed, let's see how big it is. Measures 60 inches wide. It's coming in at about 76 inches. So it is considered a short queen bed. And then the TV location in this trailer is at the foot end of the bed, which is perfect placement because you can see it while you're laying in bed. And we'll take a look at the dinette and you'll be able to see that you can see the TV from the dinette location too. Right across from the dinette, you have your kitchen area and the whole kitchen is in line, which is a great setup. Everything's very accessible and easy to get to. You'll notice you have your microwave oven right over top and this is a regular microwave oven. Then you've got you know, some really very nice cabinets in here. They kind of have that barn, popular country chic feel. Very nice, Susan, thank you. Big storage space inside there. The kitchen sink is really rather small. It's not deep, but it is a, a pretty small sink in my opinion. So it'd be hard to wash dishes and things in here, but it does give you some extra countertop space because the sink is so small. And then you have a two burner cooktop here. Then you've got a couple of drawers for your silverware and then even more storage underneath the kitchen sink. Right next to the cooktop and the microwave, you've got your refrigerator. And I'll get out of Susan's way so she can get a shot of it, but it's a good size fridge, has a separate freezer, excellent size for this size camper. Towards the rear of this trailer, there's a set of bunk beds. The top bunk has its own window. It has a weight capacity of 300 pounds. Also, it has a set of USB ports and a light over top. And the bottom bunk has a light and a pair of USB ports as well. So I'm standing inside the shower in the bathroom, which is located all the way in the back of the trailer. It's a very basic bathroom. It just has a commode and a shower. Now this shower also happens to have a bathtub and just to give you some height inside of here, you have about six feet, five inches in the shower up into the skylight. And the normal height of the ceiling in the entire camper is about six feet, seven inches. This travel trailer is the Winnebago Hike, model number H172BH. The unloaded vehicle weight on this trailer is 3,400 pounds. It's got a cargo carrying capacity of 800 pounds and the gross vehicle weight rating is 4,200 pounds. It sleeps up to four people and it measures in at just 20 feet, eight inches long. So this is a small camper that's very light and easy to tow behind a lot of vehicles. Now, when you first walk into this camper, you'll notice on the right hand side that this is a pretty big U-shaped dinette area. You could easily see one, two, three, four, maybe five people around this table. And this also serves as a big bed. The table drops down, you rearrange the cushions, and it becomes a short full-size bed, which means it's 54 inches wide and 74 inches long. You'll notice above, there's a big shelf up here where you can store things. You also have a receptacle up here, two lights on the ceiling, and a couple of USB ports. So you can plug in and recharge your phones overnight, things like that. There's also a little bit of storage underneath of this dinette bench. Right across from the dinette and the bed area is the entertainment area. And you'll notice the TV is mounted here. So it's in a great spot, whether you're eating dinner or laying in bed to be able to watch TV. You have all your controls mounted up above. 
You have a nice little countertop here and then even some additional storage space down below. The kitchen part of this trailer is one big bump out or slide out. I always call them bump outs, but that comes from my old career in home building. We called them bump outs. In camper terms, it's a slide out. Anyway, it's got a fridge that opens up. It's got a separate little spot here for your ice trays. So not a bad size fridge. And then right above that, you have a convection microwave oven. There's no oven in here under the cooktop, so you've got a convection microwave instead, which is fantastic. Over top of the sink and cooktop, you have some additional storage space up here. It does have a two burner range, single bowl sink with a gooseneck and a sprayer. And then down below, you have drawer space and additional storage space too. Then just next to all this, you have even more storage space. Now you could use this for kitchen storage or for the bedroom, because we're gonna show you a couple of bunks next. But all of these drawers are fully extendable. They're made of plywood, very good quality. Behind me here is where the bunk beds are located. And these are almost double bunks, not quite, but they're pretty wide. They have a weight rating of about 250 pounds. Each bunk comes with two windows, one on each end. They both come with lights. The top bunk has USBs and the bottom bunk needs a long cord to reach the USB at the top bunk. So here I am standing in the shower. This bathroom is a pretty good sized bath for a small travel trailer. The headspace in here, I would say, is right at six feet even because I am able to hit my head on the ceiling. You'll notice to my right, you've got a mirror. You've also got a corner medicine cabinet, which is nice that it's a corner because it gives a little more depth for storing things. You have your vanity sink, extra countertop space, and storage down below. Let us know which one of these small campers with bathrooms was your favorite and why in the comments down below. We'd love to hear from you and we'd love to hear how you enjoyed checking them out. And speaking of check it out, if you'd like to check out some of our other videos, just click one of these boxes right here. And don't forget to subscribe to the RV Blogger YouTube channel when you do and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every single week when we come out with a brand new video. So for Mike and Susan, thanks for watching. Leave your campsite better than how you found it, and we'll see you next time.